Today's video is on supplementary and complementary angles. The first angle that we're going to look at, or the first pair of angles that we're going to look at, is supplementary angles. Two angles that add up to 180 degrees. So that means A and B in this picture are both supplementary angles because they add up to 180 degrees. Keep in mind, supplementary angles have to be two angles. It cannot be more than two angles, so it has to be made up of two angles. Complementary angles are two angles that add up to 90 degrees. So angle C and D in this picture both add up to 90 degrees. Again, complementary is similar to supplementary where it has to have only two angles that add up to that measure. One way that I keep the difference between complementary and supplementary is thinking of complementary starts with a C and C comes earlier in the alphabet compared to uh, 90 degrees. 90 degrees is going to come before 180 degrees. So S for supplementary, S is towards the end of the alphabet, 180 degrees comes after 90 degrees. Let's look at an example here. Angle WYX, so that means WYX, so I'm looking at this angle right here, measures 30 degrees. So that's 30 degrees. What is the measure of the supplementary angle to angle WYX? So if I want to look at the supplementary angle, the angle that's going to make that supplementary is going to be UYX. So I'm looking for this. So I know the measure of a supplementary angle is 180 degrees and I'm going to subtract 30 from it to find my missing angle. So 180 minus 30 would give me 150 degrees. Anytime we can draw a picture is always going to help us in identifying what angles we need to look for and it always just gives us a nice visual. Now we're going to look at another example. If you're feeling comfortable with this, it might be a good idea for you to pause the video and check your answer to make sure you're doing this properly. Angle ZYV measures 40 degrees. Angle Z, ZYV. So that's going to measure 40 degrees. And we're looking for what is the measure of the complementary angle to this. So my complementary angle is going to be right here. So this is what I'm looking for. Complementary, remember, is 90 degrees. So 90 degrees, and then I'm going to subtract my 40 degrees, which is left. So 50 degrees is my answer. Hopefully that's what you got on your paper. Let's look at another example. Angle WYV measures 135 degrees. WYV, so this right here is 135 degrees. What is the measure of its supplementary angle? So supplementary, remember, supplementary has to add up to 180 degrees. So if it has to add up to 180 degrees, if I'm looking at my straight line here, the only other angle that's left to make that up is VYU. So this is my X angle. This is what I'm looking for. So I'm going to take 180 minus 135. So if I subtract that out, I have to borrow here. So that's going to give me 5. This is going to be 7 minus 3, which is going to make 4. 45 degrees is going to be my answer. 
Let's look at one more example. And again, you may want to pause the video, and this would probably be a good problem for you to pause the video on to work it out. Check to make sure you're getting the answer because this one does not have a picture with it. All right, when I'm going to solve this problem, what is the measure of a complementary angle to an angle that measures 74 degrees? So the first thing that I want to do, I want to highlight complementary angle. So if I highlight complementary angle, I know I'm going to have a picture that's going to look like this. My complementary angle has to add up to 90 degrees, so it only makes sense that I'm going to make a 90 degree angle. One of my angles is going to measure 74 degrees. So 74 degrees is close to 90, so my larger angle is going to be 74 degrees. So now I'm going to have to find this missing angle, and we'll just call it x. And I'm going to take 90, because that's what a complementary angle has to be. And I'm going to subtract 74, because that's what I know I have. So I'm going to take 9. I'm going to borrow from that. 6, 16 degrees. Hopefully, when you work that problem out, you came up with that exact same answer. So to wrap this video up, just remember that complementary angles, C comes before S, 90 comes before 180 degrees. Complementary angles, two angles that add up to 90 degrees. Supplementary angles, two angles that add up to 180 degrees. If at any point in time you can't remember any of this information, it may be helpful for you to go back and watch the video one more time.